good youtube welcome back to another video it is december 1st it is um two o'clock in the morning and as y'all can tell i'm going to get this video started because i'm trying to have it edited and published the same day since this is vlogmas gotta be quiet because they sleep but um i look you don't care you know what i'm saying but um another thing i realized about vlogmas um it's until christmas i thought vlogmas was the whole month of december but it's actually 25 days of vlogging vlogmas and um i'm sorry if my voice is cracky it's two o'clock in the morning i'm getting this video out i'm um right now i'm about to edit the thumbnail go ahead and get that uh, out of the way go ahead and get everything situated um edit these clips and then i'm gonna have it all done and then i'm gonna record the stuff i got planned for tomorrow tomorrow i gotta get a haircut i'm going to get a um i'm gonna just tell you in the morning whenever that time comes but basically yes i do have stuff to do in the morning um not in the morning but tomorrow um, I want to say I got stuff to do all day tomorrow, but I got stuff to do tomorrow, and yeah. But um, as I just said, I'm about to go ahead and work on this thumbnail. I'm about to do this thumbnail, I'm finna get right. This is thumbnail right here. This is thumbnail I'm working on. I just want y'all to see what it's gonna look like in the actual video when this get published. And so uh, your boy on the grind the whole month of December, no cap. I'm 100% dedicated to this vlogmas because I feel like this is gonna be the best thing for my channel me to be this consistent for sure for sure but um i just wanted to go ahead and start the video off uh just telling y'all what i got planned and stuff i'm about to do but um there's really nothing else to talk about um 205 in the morning i'm tired but as you can tell i'm grinding trying to get this um published to y'all because as i said i was dedicated to it so you know that's how we gonna roll and that's how we just gonna get down you know what i'm saying this shouldn't take too long hopefully i'm done in a couple of hours All right, y'all, so I just finished the thumbnail. What time is it? It's 10.45 in the morning. Just finished the thumbnail. Just did a little cinematic beginning to the video. So hopefully y'all do enjoy that later on today when y'all do see it. And um, I was just sitting here, and bro, I kid you not. I said I was going to, um, well, I didn't tell y'all exactly what I was doing today because now I don't have to do it, so I guess I'm going to tell y'all. So basically what I was going to do today, I was going to go to Target um, because I done filled out three applications there because I'm really trying to get over there. Now, I know a lot of y'all thinking like, Tracy, you just got a job a few months ago. Why are you trying to get another one? The reason to that is, is because, I'm not even gonna lie, I ain't getting no hours. And I, I know, I know I talk to her about uh, my schedule a lot because I do YouTube and stuff like that. And that's time consuming. And I'm not trying to get a job to where I'm, um, I gotta do stuff eight hours and then gotta wear, you know, I'm trying to do something that's like balanced out the way I can make videos and then go to work and make a good amount of money so that's what i uh interviewed i mean not not interview but that's what i applied to the target for so like 10 minutes ago not even 10 five minutes ago um i actually got an email like an uh, invitation to a recorded uh interview i don't know if y'all can see that um yeah so uh i've never done a interview on recorded i've never done a uh, recorded interview so i don't even know how this gonna go um, say good news, you've been selected for a recorded interview for the job posting. R00. You don't guess advocate, cashier, general merchandise, fulfillment, food and beverage, front store, car style, and stocking. Which is for a role at a target located. Blah, 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 blah. For additional information about pair, target is committed to blah, 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 Ah! So, um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be saying or some. I hope I don't got to record myself talking about myself. Because I'm doing that right now. But, um, of course I'm going to get that on camera. Uh, so hopefully that do go good. And, um, now back to what I was saying about my job. Yes, I do work at Walgreens. Um, no. Yeah, I'm trying to get up out of there, like, ASAP. And hopefully this interview go well so I can because... Bro, the amount of hours that I work now, it's like, bro, I'm like, I'm 18, you know, I got stuff to pay. I'm not, I'm not in high school. Now, if I was still in school, I would not care. I wouldn't care about working three days out of the week, because that's exactly what I'm working now. Three or two. And I'm not finna keep talking to you about my schedule, and then you may, you acting like you changing it, when really, you you changing it, like, in a bad way. You know what I'm saying? I just told you I can't close, I don't want to close every day. You know what I'm saying? I, I put a new schedule in. A good schedule, you know what I'm saying? Mornings, I could close two days out of the week. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's balanced. And it's not, I'm not in there Thursday through Monday, 
or Wednesday through Monday closing, like one to close. Wednesday through Monday, and that, and I have Monday and Tuesday off. What, what kind of off days is that? But um, 16 and 19 hours a week. That's not even 20 hours, bro. That's not even 20 hours, though. Now money good over here. I know how to balance. I know how to stretch my money. I know how to do all that. But man, come on now. I don't want to keep doing that. For, come on now. Come on now. I'm telling y'all some real junk because I know a lot of people who go through that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people who work like that and then they manage it. Not, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people who do that. Well, I ain't even gonna lie. I don't know a lot of people who like that, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. But man, yeah. Uh, she got you a lot. So, um, hopefully this interview go good. And, um, I will catch y'all on the flip side. They done lie to me. Two face smiles to me. They just sent me a, uh, another email about the interview, so I'm clicking here. Just click where it say practice at. But I don't even, hopefully I look right. Except for all them cookies. First time I see how it work. Hold on, am I supposed to do this on the computer? Five video questions. I agree. Oh, the jump. Is this? Congratulations, you've been selected for the next stage in the recruitment process, which is an online video interview. This recorded video interview will focus on your experience and should take around 20 minutes. Whoa. Our top tips. Find a quiet place with minimal distractions. That's usually best. Practice a question. This way you can adjust your screen, shake out any nerves. You will have 30 seconds to consider each question before responding. 30. If you respond to the question and you're finished and there's still time on the clock, don't feel pressure to use it all up. If you record your answer and you don't like it, you left something out, or it's just not quite right, don't worry, you can re-record it. The target team is only going to see the final recording. We know that asking you to record a video of yourself can be a little daunting, so take a deep breath, relax, be yourself. No, she said take we'll a deep breath. The video interview. Good luck. Appreciate it, Sean. Continue. Um, you will be asked to record your sponsor using your camera and microphone. Okay. Oh, okay. Can you, so you can. Okay. Okay, that's good. So you can um, do it on your phone. <gasps> take time to try and practice questions. No one will see your answers, and you can make practice as much as you like. I'm gonna go ahead and practice now because I don't even know what they're gonna ask. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay. This is practice good to practice recording yourself and then play it back to see how you sign. Look. Oh wow. I'm gonna hit. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Good morning everyone, my name is Trace Crandall and I would like to be recruited for your target position. How that sound? This is a practice question. Practice recording yourself and then play it back. I gotta we cannot detect your voice. Are you talking? Yes, I'm talking. What you mean? I want to see how it sounds. Oh, man, that's sweet. I'm nervous, nigga. Play video. I'm nervous, boy. I don't know why I'm nervous. Like, I ain't never recorded myself before. Oh Lord. Tell me about your background. Um relevant work experience. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. Tell me about your background. Um background. Where did I come from? TJ Maxx. I've been I've been applied. I applied there. I'm stuttering, I'm nervous. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Lord. Hey, my name is Tracy Crandall, and I came from, well, I am currently working at Walgreens. Uh, I applied there in, I want to say, late July, and I got applied, in, and I uh, got hired in August. Um, before that, I worked at TJ Maxx Home Goods, um, right over here on Davis Highway, and I've been there since July, July 2019 to July 2021. Um, the reason I left is because I was looking for a better work experience. Um, and trying to, you know, upgrade in the workforce and trying to get better at my positions, you know, trying to um, up the skill of my communicating and um, therefore and so much active. 
Bro, what? What did I just say? Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me read. Hey, my name is Tracy Crandall, and I came from, well, I am currently working at Walgreens. Uh, I applied there in, I want to say, late July, and I got applied, and I uh, got hired. Bro, tell me. Um, Tell me why I only answer one question. Bro, I feel like I'm in school or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> Tell me about your background, relevant work experience. Okay, okay, background. Came from TJ Maxx. I currently work at Walgreens. Um, shit, that's what I'm saying. Came from uh, TJ, uh, uh, I'm stuttering. How long is this? Four minutes? Came from TJ Maxx. Work at Walgreens. Boom. Relevant work experience. Boom. I'm good at communicating. <laughs> Hey, my name is Trace Crandall. I currently work at Walgreens. Um, I was recently employed. Well, not recently, but I was. Well, you can't say recently. I was employed um, from TJ Maxx from July 7th. Not July 7th. July 2019 to July 2021. I left TJ Maxx um, to work for Walgreens in August of this year. Um, my relevant work experience, I'm good at, well, number one position that I've uh, been trained very well in is cashiering. Uh, merchandise experience expert um, I stock retail floor are good with communicating and the reason I'm interested is because it's funny because I actually tried to work at Target for about two years now and you know I just I just feel like it's a good good company overall and I would be very honored if I could have a chance to work with you guys but that, that was that was perfect that was perfect I'm submitting that I don't even gotta I don't even gotta listen to it I'm submitting that she better, she, I answered that perfectly. You may not take a break. I need it. I cannot lie. My heart thumping, bro. Hold on. Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I can save myself. Even when I don't be wrong, I still blame myself. Tell me how you feeling, young there's some pain I never felt cold. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought it clicked off. Oh, is it recording me? Oh, Whew. got scared for a second. Play video. Tell me about a time that you were able to keep a friendly demeanor with somebody who was upset or angry. Describe the situation. I ain't gonna lie. And the outcome. I ain't gonna lie. Um, what I did was, to be real with you, um, nah, I'm not recording. If I, psh, man, you know. I would talk like that, but it's like, you know, Target like Chick-fil-A, you know what I'm saying? They all family friendly, so I ain't gonna bring the hood out in here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh! <laughs> a time I was able to keep a friendly demeanor. Um, I wanna say it was at TJ Maxx, that's when I had my worst experience because, you know, we got a lot of customers. You know, TJ Maxx stay busy 24-7. And you know you get a lot of customers who are elderly customers who um, are upset about the price and they try and change stuff and then when you tell them that's not the right price they get mad and stuff like that. But um, the best goal is to just call the manager, walk away from the problem, call the manager up there, let them deal with it, um, talk talk nice to them, you know, just 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 don't come out on an uh, aggressive demeanor. You get what I'm trying to say? Um, What I did was, you know, I just uh, called my manager, Ms. Rachel. Ms. Rachel, can you please come talk to this customer? Um, they're not, you know, and then I told her what the, what the problem was, and I let her d deal with that. And the outcome was the customer was like, thank you very much. Y'all have a good day. And we, was like, we sailed likewise. So that is the time that I had to deal with it. <laughs> Bro. I'm, man, this is what you gotta do when you interview, bro. You can't be. You, I mean, you can, but you just. Bro, that was perfect, bro. I ought to get hired. I better get hired. How long is it? Eight minutes. I've been recording for eight minutes. Jesus. Tell me about the time you tried to sell a customer, teammate, or someone an idea, product, describe what? Bro, I don't ever think I did that. Tell me about the time you try to sell a customer, teammate, or someone to an idea, or someone else on an idea. Um, 
Dang, I don't know. I don't think I can answer that, truthfully. Bro, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Hold on. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Hold on, the dick ain't kinda long. I ain't gonna lie, hold on. Oh my god, three seconds. Okay, okay. <sighs> um, well, recently at my job, Walgreens that I'm recently employed at is when I tried to, uh. Bro, I don't. Bro, I don't know what to say. Oh, only have three recordings? Oh my God, you may re-record. Oh, two times, oh, okay. 10 by the time you try to sell a customer to email or someone an idea, product, or service. Oh, okay, okay, never mind, never mind. I get it, 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 I get it. I get it. Well, at both of my jobs, at TJ Maxx and Walgreens, what um the best thing I decide to do is, you know, greet them, you know, ask them about their day, ask them is everything going okay, did they find everything all right, and you know, just keep a good demeanor, um, make sure you're speaking fluently, and you know, positive vibes, make sure that's all correct, and you will get positive outcomes with that. So um, that is the time that I try to sell and even even at TJ Maxx because you know we sell we used to sell, we sell we sold clothes my bad for the um stuttering problem but uh we sold clothes and um you know I always make sure that that uh that the clothes was on clearance you know I always hey Miss Rochelle you got a digi so I can scan and make sure it's on clearance therefore because if I was that customer and there was something on clearance but it didn't have the tag I would want to make sure that you know it's on clearance because some twenty dollars and you know it's on clearance for ten. I don't want, you don't want to pay twenty dollars. So you going you know, I try to make sure that it's ten dollars. But yes, ma'am, that's what you gotta do. Um, and you know, it's I've never had a, a negative outcome with with helping customers unless they just having a bad day overall. But um, the customers love me. You know, I'm a I'm a good person. I got a good personality. I can make you laugh. All that. So I feel like that. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Bro. Bro, oh, I gotta watch that. Well, at both of my jobs, and you know, it's on clearance for ten. I don't want, you know, I want to pay twenty dollars. So you going you know, I try to make sure that it's ten dollars. But yes, ma'am, that's what you gotta do. Um, and you know, it's I've never had a, a negative outcome with with helping customers. Bro, you gotta be yourself when you do an interview, dog. I mean, it's not like you're trying to work at the bank, you know, where you got to be like, we got to put on a suit and tie and sit over here like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just be yourself, you know? Just be yourself, see the people rocking with it. If they not, then they not. I'm still good there, though. Now you may take a break. I don't need a break. Nah, I'm on it. I'm on it. Four questions. Come on. Tell me by the time you were able to understand. Uh, what? Oh, I'm like, why is video? Tell me about a time that you were able to understand someone else's viewpoint when it differed from your own. Describe the situation, your actions, and the outcome. She read that perfectly. Hold on. Tell me about the time you were able to understand someone else's viewpoint. That's crazy because that was, that was recent. That was recent. Cannot lie. That was recent. I ain't even gonna lie. Well, of course, at both jobs, I've been able to understand someone else's viewpoint. But the most recent one that I can't remember to the truest of my ability would have to be, um, it was this one day at Walgreens when I was checking a customer out. And at Walgreens, we had these yellow tags. And the yellow tags, if you're a member, you can get a certain sale price for it. So not too long ago, a customer came up about, um, she was complaining about it. And um, uh, the she wasn't a member so we had to sign up and stuff like that and basically she was just like well maybe that you know what i ain't even gonna lie because that was that was a complete lie no cap i ain't even gonna lie let me let me let me disregard that let me retry that because i not why you know what i'm saying it's about time you were able to understand someone else's viewpoint that differed from your own um shoot dang that's a good one I can't even lie, I have so many. Like basically like coming up in the you know, in the field and stuff like that. In the, in the field. 
I done had so many, it's crazy, you know? Oh, okay. I'm gonna start here, bit down. Tell me time you go. Well, the, uh, I've had that experience at both jobs, TJ Maxx and Walgreens, but the most, the one I can remember the most would have to be at TJ Maxx. Now, I had many coming up, like when I first started working, because I first started working at 16, so you know, it's like, you, you're new to it, you gotta talk a lot, you know, you gotta get used to the, the way things go. But um, it was a lot of things, like when I first started working, um, I was this quiet person, you know, I wasn't talking a lot uh, until I got comfortable and that's just how i am personally but um it was this one customer who came in and um i just started ringing them up i didn't greet them didn't say welcome none of that and i'm telling y'all this because i want y'all to see how i've matured in the in in the in the work in the work field in the work field i want to see how y'all i want to i want y'all to see how i matured in the work field because you know just based off this interview you could tell that my personality is a 10 you know and i'm just trying to show people that and like you know i would love to work with you guys because i've been trying to for about two years and um but back to the question um so the customer came up i just started ringing their clothes up then then asked how they were doing she's like well hey how are you she was like um she's like you look young how old are you I was like 16. She was like, okay, well maybe you should you should start you should start speaking more. You should start talking. And I I sat in my I was in my head. I was like, she right, she right. I do have a job, and it is my job to speak and greet the customers. So me not doing that, they can complain about that, and I could risk losing my job. So that is one thing that I agreed on, and I just you know I changed it from there there on there on out. Bro, that was perfect. That was perfect. Now, it's not like this where I can just go on and edit it because you heard me stumbling and something like that, but it's all good. We all human. You know what I'm saying? Bro, it's crazy because y'all literally finna watch me. Y'all literally finna watch me get hired. Ain't that crazy? I don't need to take a break. You know what I'm saying? We own it. Tell me about the time you had to work with someone to achieve a goal with multiple tasks. Oh, recently. Oh, I keep forgetting. Tell me about a time that you had to work with someone else achieve a goal with multiple tasks while you are under a tight deadline. Describe the situation, your actions, and the outcome. Ain't gonna lie to you, Shadai. Oh, I thought it was recording, boy. I got so scared. Five, four, three, two. I know. The most recent time that I had to work with someone to achieve a multiple task would have to be recently at my job. Now, Walgreens, with Walgreens, you do a lot, you know. Since it's not a a, a hand a, like a big majority of people working there, um, the biggest thing is on Sunday we had these tags and you got to go throughout the whole store do the tags. We get new tags every Sunday, and you know it's just like difficult when you're the only person up at the register and you got to do all about the front store. But good thing that I had my um my grandma at the job, Miss Sandra, to help me with it. You know um that is. That is a difficult task when you have tags that you got to put out. You got to um, you got to manage the register, check out for customers. You know, she or she'll be like, "Hey Tracy, you, you can do the tags. I, I'll watch up front." And you know, it's just cool because you got to have it done by Sunday, by Sunday night. And when you're not scheduled to close, you know, that's a difficult task when you got a lot of stuff to do. But um, yes, that is the outcome was we always get it done, and there's no if ands or buts about it. You know, we a duo. We get it done. But you gotta be determined, man. You know what I'm saying? And the most recent time that I had to work with someone to achieve a multiple. Bro, no way that recorded. And no way I just hit submit. Oh my god. They're gonna watch this in hell. Yes, of course. Bro, what if they don't call me back? What if I put all this energy into this interview and they don't even call me back? I'm gonna be hurt. What? Thank you for expressing interest in joining the team. Thank you. Team. We know every career decision is an important one. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you be willing to tell us about your experience? What? Bro, I hope it's like a. I hope it's like a cool, cool ass manager who watched that and just be like, "Oh, I love this kid. He got, he got, he got potential." <laughs> Call my mama, dog. 
I'd be like, what? I'd be like, what? Hey, son. Hey, mama. Huh? I just, um, Target emailed me back. I just did a virtual uh, interview. <gasps> Yay. Yeah. How did it go? Um, I don't know. I mean, I was being myself. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure they'll be like. But you answered the questions good and all that stuff? Of course. Okay, okay. Look at my baby. Okay, w which target was it for? That's the one on. Okay. All right. Sounds good, babe. So when, when will you know something? Uh, I don't know. They'll just email me. Okay. All right. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you. All right, baby. I'm going into the interview. All right. Okay, baby. All right. Bye. Bruh. Bruh, I've been right here for an hour. No way. I'm going to get my hair cut at four. See y'all there. Bro, oh my God, dog. I just cranked up my car like five times. That joint would not start. I did another I did another time. I did it again. John still ain't start. I did it one time, but I did it slower. Oh my God. It crunk up while I was... Whew! Well, I thought something was wrong, boy. But um, going to get my hair cut right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm gonna look ten times better when I walk up by that. You know what I'm saying? But um, I gotta get my watch. But y'all already know what I'm here to go do. Go ahead and get this haircut. And um, yeah, that's it. Ain't even gonna lie. For this to be my first time doing vlogmas, I cannot lie. I, I did I did pretty good for my first video. I cannot lie. Oh God, I did pretty good for, for that to be my first video. Well, I feel like I did. I don't care what y'all think. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel, I feel like I did pretty good. I'm gonna try to have this out like as soon as possible. Probably six, seven. If not, then probably, you know, a later upload. Depending on whether that's not rendered fast enough and I get to upload in that time. But, I had to go get this cut. So I will catch y'all whenever. I oh, and there's this one thing I want her to do that um I, I was trying to tell other people was right here. I'm trying to like, you see, I don't want no double edge up. I just want that junk cut. So I'm gonna ask her if she can do that. And bro, if she do it, it's $30 now. I'm gonna see if it's worth $30, you know what I'm saying? But it should be because she know how to cut. But uh, I'm out of here, man. I was sitting over here. I was like, man, I want to do that TikTok thing when they go in there and get a haircut. And then they come back with a hard transition. I did it before, but y'all went around when I did it. I just hit sell money. That's when I just started to come up for real, for real. But I want to do it, so come on. Wait, did I do it right? Hold on, let me try it again. Just like that. Hey, that, that, that jump was hard. Was it hard? Huh? Y'all let me know was that jump hard or was it? Wasn't it? But yeah, this is how to cut looking at jump. But um, yeah, that's the end of the video. It's uh, what is it? it's five o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this and I'm probably gonna have it out in the next hour or two or three. But I hope y'all did enjoy, you know what I'm saying? And if you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And if you knew, Welcome to the channel, you know what I'm saying? This is my very first vlogmas that I'm ever doing. So, you know, this is special to me. And, you know, with that being said, I turned the long switch. With that being said, it's your boy Tracy. I'm out here, man.